It says you're live. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Are we here? We're here. Is it going to work this way? Okay, this one does it. No way. So we're going to have to just do it on here. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. This should be better for you guys. You guys can now zoom in. Um, but I think if you want to chat, it's going to zoom out. But you guys can zoom in so you can see the figures. You can see everything that we are doing. We've got our first witcher. Yay. All right. Should I say that again? <laughs> Should I say that again? Woohoo! We are back, Jennifer. Hey, love. Hey, beautiful. Okay, so I definitely like this a lot better. Um, yeah, you can see. Oh, wait, did it say what it was going to be recording in? Um, was no, it? But I think th that's. Oh, fine. this is not. Okay, no, I want to do this again because I want to do 1080p. No, it might just. It might only do. Um, it might just only do 720. Run 720. 720. I don't even know if I was able to select. I don't know. What do you guys think? How does it look? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. How does it look right now? Oh, this little fuzzies. Right there. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this work? Does this work? Does this work for you guys? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess if we're going to do this, babe. I know. Okay. Does it look, it looks clear, Jennifer? Well, then I guess we'll just run with it. Um, let me see. So can you lower it, babe? Because it's yeah. playing in the background. It looks clear. Okay. Ash, Ashley says it looks clear. Okay. Let's just do this. I'm going to go ahead and share it to the group. Copy link. And then let me just do this so people can find it who wanted to join in on the fun tonight. Okay, so let me just say that I, as a husband, clearly know that this means that all of the wives are going to be stealing their husband's phones so that they can watch on one and type on the other. <clears throat> this actually is really cool. Yeah, happening this live. Is super cool. Right now. Okay. All right, let's just try. Let's try it. Actually, yes. Copy, post, and then let's just do it to my, my thing. All right, guys. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, share, copy link, here we go. Oh no. Post, okay. All right, guys, let's get going. Yeah, okay. I think we're here. We're good to go. Yeah, did it work? Yeah, it worked. All right, so for you, for you guys, if you want to know how to work this, what it looks like, um, it shows like this, obviously, right? And then if you guys hit the two buttons right here, you guys can full screen it. So you'll be able to see everything. And then if you guys want to chat, you do have to go into the chat box, just like that, okay? So that is how we are working these things today. So, all right, this will be fun. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is new. Um, I think I need to have your guys' comments though, so I gotta do that. Okay. All right, let's get started. So. You guys, do you want to start off? You can choose which box you want to see. And we can unbox. Also, ooh, what I need to do is also, um, Jennifer and Ashley. Ashley, I think you did comment. Jennifer, did you comment on the post? Because I'm going to go shut down the comments um, to see what sets are in here. And then you guys can win some money off. Some tiny, tiny world bucks. Bank bucks. Right? Tiny world bank bucks. <laughs> that is such a, a mouthful. Okay, so yeah, let me see. Did you guys, Jennifer. So go ahead and Jennifer, I'll let you comment before I shut down the comments right now, if you wanna go comment. Okay. 
Oh, hi, Crystal. Hey, love. Yes, I see you now. I see you now. I think also, I think the comments are a lot more clear on. So much yeah, I think they're a lot more clear on here. The so only, that's awesome. The only downside is that um, there's no timestamp on the comments. There's no time. But I think it's because YouTube has it in order. Mm, they don't okay. have to do that because everything is very much more crystal clear. <laughs> crystal clear. <laughs> everything is a lot more clear. So um, that's why they don't do timestamps. But I think if you go into studio, you might be able to see timestamps. But it does it from the time, if that makes sense. Well, we're gonna have to figure it out. Figure it out, I mean, because this is our first time doing this. So we'll just have to see. All right, Jennifer, let me know when you are back and then we will open up the boxes, but go ahead and comment. And then, um, yeah, comment when you're back. Seems instant too, no delay. Okay, awesome. That's what I was figuring out. Like when I was watching several lives, it seemed really, really quick. So I was like, I don't I want to do this, I think. And this is where I wanted to do this, like, I don't know, in the beginning when I first started doing um, auctions. I wanted to do them on YouTube, but because I don't have a thousand subscribers, I was not allowed to. They just recently changed that in 2001, and I didn't know this. My cousin actually was the one who was like, hey, YouTube, you can go do live auctions now. And I was like, oh, am I allowed? I was like, I thought I wasn't allowed if I didn't have a thousand subscribers. So there is a um, there is a factor though for people who do not have a thousand subscribers yet, like they are limiting what you can do on YouTube, if that makes sense. So they still kind of have, um, uh, what is that called? Like a, a limit. They have, yeah, they have a cap. And the reason is because they want to make sure that you're not like some crazy psycho doing something, hopefully. Yeah. Nothing that's a little bit imprudent. I'm going to test it right now. Okay. People, I'm pretty Ooh, can sure. can you give me a Kleenex? My yes. nose is, uh, it's um, the light. Okay. I commented. Okay, awesome. So if you guys all commented, I think Ashley, did you comment too? Ashley, if you want to comment, go ahead and comment. I'll let you comment down right now what you think um, on my thank you, honey bunny. Oh, can you hear us share you guys? So, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, Ashley, if you want to go comment to see if you can win some uh, Tiny World Bank Bucks, go ahead and comment. I know Crystal, I think you commented too. Um, I'm going to close it down pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. Okay, yes, I commented. Okay, awesome. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and close it down right now. How's the chat working for you, babe? I think it's going pretty good. Oh, wait, I don't see your comment, um, Ashley. Um, on this post, can you see? this post in the group. I asked, I said, uh, let's see, I said, but let the games begin. First four people to comment down below a set and if it's a complete or incomplete, or if it's, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm like, if it's complete or incomplete, that is inside one of these boxes, you will win five Tiny World Bank Bucks towards your next purchase with me. So um, Ashley, comment on that and then I'll close it down and then we will see what is in these boxes right now. Hi, Milka, hey, love. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Are you guys ready to see what's in these boxes? Let me see. I'm waiting for Ashley to let me know if she wants to go comment and then I'm going to close Help. that down. Let me see your phone real quick, babe. This one? Yeah. Okay. So where's it? Show them this button right here. Which one? If they have YouTube on their TV or any other device, they can stream. They could watch you on TV. What button? Here, let me see. That oh, oh yeah. If you guys know, yeah, I think most people know that though. Yeah, but they could literally, they could watch you on TV and comment with their phones. Oh, I'm oh, I get it. Now. I get it. I get it. Um, all right, let me see. So if you guys want to, David is saying um, something cool that you guys can do. If you can see that there is this button, it's a little square button with the little um, Wi-Fi symbol right there you know, so it can connect to your TV. If you guys wanna connect it, you can watch it on TV and then you can comment on your phone so you can see both. So that's actually pretty handy. I did not know that. Okay, I just commented my comment. Okay, awesome. Let me see if you commented, Ashley, on the post. If not, okay, I don't think I see it though still. Ashley, I don't see it, love. I wanna make sure you can get in and try. Babe, you gotta lower it down over there. Okay. Oh my 
Okay, I think, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for Ashley. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna close it after Ashley. How about we just do that? And then we can see what's going on, okay? Oh, live chat, where's live chat? All right, there we go. Um, it looks super clear. Awesome, thanks Milka. All right guys, which box do you wanna get into? Not sure why it isn't showing. Yeah, it's not showing up on my on my end. What the heck? Am I? Is it because I'm? Hold on, let me see. I'll close out Facebook. Try to go back on. Yeah, it's not showing up. Um, Ashley, well, since you're on the live with me, how about you just tell me right? You can comment in the live right now. For some reason, it's not. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the comments. I'm gonna close them out. I don't know why it's not showing. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. Um, Ashley, just comment down what you have. Oh, wait, do you know where I'm asking you to comment, Ashley? Comment on the Facebook post that I made in Vintage Poly Pocket by Sal Trade. It should be at the top because uh, Jennifer just commented. So it's right here in, in Vintage Poly Pocket by Sal Trade. And then just comment what you think, which set is in here. That way you can try to win some money off of your next purchase. All right, so which one do you guys want to open up first? I'm gonna let you guys choose. Um, <laughs> it's called casting. I do it all the time watching. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. We're, I'm not techie. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it works out. Oh, oh my gosh, Ashley, that makes sense. Okay, no, go to Facebook, love, and then I'll close it out. So it's super cool. Yeah. I can, I'm watching you on TV and it, it doesn't even show you on the screen, but it's got the can chat open. Kill yes. that fly. I will kill that fly. <laughs> Murder that fly. Okay. Murder that fly. Murder that fly. All right, guys, let me know which one you guys want to open. Um, welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Okay. I already know. I already know your guidelines. All right, guys, let me know. Small box, large box. What do you want to do? Short box, tall box. You can choose any box. Okay, so Ashley, I think I need to say this again, you guys. This is hilarious. I'm not, I think I'm not being clear. Ashley, what I want you to do is go to that post and tell me which set you think is in one of these boxes. Like just a random set that you think is in here. So you want to find a set and then let me know if it's complete or incomplete. So if you look up at the comments above them, like um, Jennifer says, bridesmaid complete with ring. Lena says, Fifi's Parisian um, apartment complete, splash and slide incomplete. So just let me know which set you think is in these boxes. And then also let me know which ones you guys want to open first. Um, I'm special. <laughs> I don't think I was clear, love. It's it's not you, it's me. <laughs> uh, let's see, okay. All right, so you guys wanna tell me? Small box, large box, which one do we wanna open? This is your unboxing, you guys. Okay, done. <laughs> awesome, okay. Here we go, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna turn off commentings on this one. There we go. All right, let's see who it, who wins. Small box, you guys wanna do small box first? Okay, since Milka said small box, I'm gonna do small box first. And then we will get into this big box right here. Okay, we put this on the side. So let's see how these people wrap these up. So this one I was really kind of in shock with because nobody else bid on it. And I was like, I like literally waited till the last second to bid. There was no bids. And um, I got this on eBay, obviously. And I was like, okay, um, whatever. So at the very last like three seconds, I put my bid and I waited to see if anybody else was bidding. Nothing happened. And then you know how you have to wait to the, the timer to go. The I don't know, the little... A little timer and I was waiting 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 and then I want it for exactly what he was selling it for um starting price and nobody bid against me so I was like wow you know so let's check to see how good these sets are the only thing is he didn't post oh I always say it's a he I think it's a he that I'm buying from I don't know if it's a he I feel like the name on the um profile sounded like a he I could totally be wrong um but the seller didn't put any pictures of the front of the compact so I'm not too sure what it looked like or what it what it was you know so okay here we go so we have some bubble wrap up top if you guys can see how can you can you guys see this i can't see what you guys see hold on let me push roughly let me see if it'll jump up hold on one second i'm just getting my video up to speed all 
Okay. Oh yeah, you guys can see. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure you guys can see. And oh, there's no other bubble wrap. <laughs> he just threw it in the box. Or they just, I, I just, I gotta stop saying it's a heat. I don't know if it's heat. Um, they just threw it in the box. Okay, let's see. So if you guys can see, I did ask one thing. Okay, if you guys ever buy multiple sets or a lot or anything, always ask your seller to make sure to Ziploc baggy the figures because a lot of times I've gotten boxes where the box gets damaged in shipping and then there's like holes, there's gashes, there's this, you know, this part is like coming undone or something and then the dolls will fall out. Even if they put it in the sets, it can still sometimes not be good because sometimes they are in like, um, if they put it in the drive-thru, I've had people do that. They put it in the drive-thru set and then it fell out. So um, yeah, you definitely want to ask them, hey, can you make sure that the figures are secure? So here we go. Let's see what we have. Do you see anything? Did you guys see anything that you, you said? <laughs> Um, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love seeing bags of figures and they look pretty good. So there is, oh like, okay. Is this bunny from Star Castles, right? These little bunny, these little figures are like from Star Castles, right guys? So other than that though, everything else looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can dump this out. They look pretty good. I feel like they have their faces. Woo! -hoo. Okay, some of these. Oh, this this doll has seen better days. But the fuzzy, the furry pets look pretty good too. They don't look that bad. This one looks a little bit, a little bit dusty, but not that bad. But you can definitely see Ebony. Ebony looks really good. So yeah. So most of these have their faces. Ooh, who's this? Anybody know who this is? Uh oh. There goes the baby. Um, oh, and we have a fairy winkle in here. Oh, and there's some, um, I think this is Lewis Galoob or Tiny Dreams, right? Tiny Dreams? That looks like Tiny Dreams. Or, yeah. Ooh, okay, so here is the fairy. She kind of has, she has her wings, so she definitely needs to be restored. Oh. Is she? She's fine. She just spit up on me a few times. Okay. Do I have a puppy one? I think, um, what puppy one are you talking about? Let me see, I'm gonna put this right here. Um, yeah, so these look all good, guys. They look good. So there's a white rabbit for that set. Okay, I was just seeing all the figures, trying to place them so you guys can see. Can you see the, the oh, you can't really see that, right? Okay, but anyways, yeah, they look good. Let's see what else is in here. So there's these pieces for, my pretty dollhouse. We have a piano ring. Ooh. Okay, that means the compact is in here too, right? I'm hoping. Oh yeah, it's in there. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's just try to get all this out without doing anything. Okay, so here's the locket. So this will definitely be up for grabs, you guys. Um, both of these lockets will be. So Lulu and her seaside locket. Actually, the cord looks really nice. Very purple. Gold logo is kind of coming off at the top, but it looks pretty good. And the inside is pretty good. No photo card, but pretty clean. And then let's see. Yep, she's here. Lulu is here. So this will be up for grabs. Um, I was thinking of doing the auction. I'm sorry, I still don't know most by their name. Okay, let me, I'll go through the sets in a minute, Ashley, and then we can see what um, which one you're talking about. So she will be in here. Here's the fairy spells locket. The cord itself looks... Is it supposed to be silver? I feel like it looks a little, I don't know, maybe it needs like a wash. It doesn't look as um, as bright and shiny as usually, you know? Uh, silver logo, Polly Pocket, it's there, but the outer circle is not. Inside looks pretty clean and so does the Polly. She just needs to be restored and she has her face. You guys wanna see her face? That's maybe Teddy's Wonderland. Ooh, okay. See, she has her face. So that will be up for grabs, you guys. Uh, what else is in here? Let me see. Oh, there's a comb. Okay, that, I don't know what this is. Some of these, I don't know what they belong to. Okay, so here's the pet's cart. So there's obviously a pet cart. How cute, a little. 
Okay, no idea what that is too. Anybody, toy, you guys, toy people, what do you guys think that is? Um, Star Castle, yeah, that is definitely Star Castle. But just no Star Castle stuff. So we have a bunch of Lewis Galoo, some figures, a stroller. We have a uh, Midge's bumper car. I have another lavender rain base, a leaf boat, and then a random purple comb, which I have no idea where these would go to. Um, should I show you the teddy again? Does that look like it belongs there? All right, let's get into this. Oh, there's all these figures here. Okay, one second, guys. I'm just gonna try to get Polly and then... Just so you know, it looks like there's like a 15 second lag on the smart casting. Okay, there's a 15 second know. lag. So if people watch it on TV, it'd be... It might it'd probably be more accurate, like on a laptop. Okay. So they can watch on a laptop while commenting on their phone. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you guys, check this out. Okay. See, that's why you never know, but the gold logo looks freaking amazing. Does that look nice? That looks freaking gorgeous. I don't like saying mint because there's always, you can always find that one collector that like looks for specific details and then you don't see that detail and then you can get yourself in trouble. But this looks pretty gold to me. So there is a garden surprise and there is Polly. I didn't see any statue in the photos, but so I knew that wasn't gonna have um, a statue, but there is Polly in there. So there's that one, let's see. Okay, so here you said puppies, right? So I think this is, no, this is puppies. Okay, so this is precious puppies. And here is the puppies that belong in here. So let me show you guys a difference. They are very similar, but they're similarly different. Um, Rags usually has a tan base. I think it's Rags, or is it Rascal? Rags or Rascal? This might be Rags. Rags might be in Precious Puppies, and then Rascal might be in uh, Little Pets Carts. I know one or, one or the other. So you can tell the difference between a tan base and a white base. Usually, obviously these two are going to match. So that's how you know the white bases are usually um, the one that comes in Precious Puppies. So this is 1993 Precious Puppies. And let's see, do we have the Polly? There is Polly. Yay, Polly is here. Oh, there's two Pollys. I have two Pollys for this set. How funny. One has, uh, she's kind of missing her smile, guys. <laughs> that looks pretty good though. Okay, so which one were you looking for, um, Ashley? Were you looking for the Precious Puppies or were you looking for this one? Let me know. And then let's see, so here we go. Pretty bunnies, ooh, okay, yay. And the bunnies in here. You can see the little bunny and then I think we saw the white bunny right here. And these actually are pretty clean. Okay, it's like as if nobody played with them. Maybe just stored with them, maybe played with them for a little bit, but not really. Like they're partly, like, look at that gold logo. Did I show the gold logo on this one? Okay, gold logo is kind of missing on the top part of the circle up here. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Even the color is pretty nice, I feel like. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. So where's Polly? And that's Panda. Panda Polly, where's, where's the other one? That's Cozy Kitties. Oh, here we go. All right, so this set is complete as well. Here's Polly. So that's a pretty nice one. That would be an upgrade for me. Sure. How much for Precious Puppies? Oh, Ash, I'm not selling right now. We are specifically doing an unboxing. So um, I wanted to figure out how to do the YouTube live video, which is why I was going to do an unboxing tonight just to show you guys. And then we're going to do some trivia after we unbox everything. And then I'm only planning to try to stay on for like less than an hour. And then I, that's what I was trying to say. So we were thinking of possibly doing a Friday the 13th sale or a Mother's Day sale because you know how I like to go around holidays kind of, uh, but I was debating what to do. So I have another lot coming in. Um, so it's these two lots and then I have another one coming in from the UK. The UK one has a little bit more of the rarer, rarer items. Can I say it like that? Rarer items. Um, these ones are basically compacts and I forgot what is in this one. So we'll have to get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so these are what will be up for grabs and then yeah, what do you guys think? Um, Friday the 13th or Mother's Day? What sounds better to you? Ooh, gosh, that looks like a good logo as well. So this is, oh gosh, you guys. Okay, see, I love seeing a compact that looks like there's no dust in it, nothing. These are super clean. And the funny thing is the seller, he kind of had like a very like, not very good pictures. Let me just put it that way. Okay, Mr. Marks is here and I don't see, oh, I do see Polly. Okay, and Polly's here. Ooh, that's nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so that is complete. Let's see, what is this one? 
Oh, look at that gold logo. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, that is really nice. Okay, this is Polly's World. Let's see, is there a roller cart? Do we see Polly? I don't see Polly. Balloons? I don't see balloons. Maybe I'm tripping. I might be tripping. I don't see any Polly though. No Polly. Okay, so it just has the roller cart. I could be wrong. I might just might just be missing it. All right, let's see what else is here. Oh, this one is missing. So see, there is some play to them. This one's missing the gold logo. And let's see. Yeah. So this is party time surprise. And I do have a doll for her. I think that's it. Okay. I think. Yeah, I think there's another one here. Okay, again, this one's kind of, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean these two. So these ones look like they've been a little bit played with, but you can definitely see the gold logo on there. Friday the 13th. Oh, hey, mom. <laughs> okay, the boys are doing good. Did did Rowan clear up his attitude? <gasps> Guys. Okay, see, that's like, there's a bear. We got a teddy bear and it looks like he's mint. Oh, he's very, very crispy. He's minty. Okay, so that means we're just missing a tutu on this one. So we will do probably the nicer one, but okay, that is so cool. Oh, this is fun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll probably, you know, I'm thinking of just probably throwing this one in the damage sets because with logos like that, I just feel like people can either refurbish them, um, they can re retro bright them, they can restore them, whatever they want to do. Um, okay, so there's that. Missing tutu because I don't, yeah, no tutu. All right, let's see what else we have. And then here is, oh, this one's kind of looking a little, little shabby. The sticker on the bottom, the little placement is kind of um, messed up. So, yeah, everybody's wanting to say Friday the 13th. Hi, Christy. What do you think, babe? Okay, so we have the brown dog. This dog was like really hard for me to get in. Like, I am telling you, I, I couldn't find it for the longest time. I had my animal, uh, animal hospital. Wait, what am I trying to say? Buttons Animal Hospital without the dog for the longest time. Same thing with the townhouse, Polly's townhouse, no dog. And then finally I got two dogs. And then after that, they all just came in. So isn't that like what it usually happens? You usually get a set and then you're looking for the item. And then for the longest time, it doesn't show up. And finally it shows up. I don't know what's going on with that. So, <laughs> okay, this one is complete. So animals, Buttons Animal Hospital is complete. Um, but the sticker, I wonder if I have an extra compact somewhere. That sticker is looking pretty shabby. Okay. So there's that. Let's see. So we have a little wreath. Is there anything in here? No, just a doll. Okay. Christmas wreath. Let's see. What is this? I wasn't sure. <gasps> okay. I saw in the photo cause it was kind of blurry. There was like something that was like white that was sticking up right here. So I wasn't too sure if it was, but it was like kind of like that in the photo and it was like blurry but i couldn't tell if it was the tray or if it was something else so the food tray is here which is awesome which means this should be complete because i think there was both dolls yep here they are both dolls are here all right there's gonna be a complete fast food restaurant with a food tray awesome you guys and the dolls look pretty pretty clear on their faces they look really really clean Okay, let me see the gold logo. Gold logo looks pretty nice. It's not mint though. I will say that there is a little bit of rubbing on the bottom here. But can you guys see that? Looks pretty nice. All right, let's see. Cozy kitties. Here we go. Oh, these are nice. Okay, this is a really nice set, guys. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Fluff and Grace the Kittens look super, super clean. And Polly has her face and the gold logo is really nice. So that is awesome. So this is the preview of what you guys will see. So the point of what I was doing before when I was doing the videos and doing the unboxings and then posting the video up was so that you guys can see the sets a little bit more in clear detail because I could... I can go, what, let me see. I can post the videos in 1080p because when I was going live on Facebook, you can't really see, like sometimes it's a little blurry. Sometimes like, you know, I was having so many issues with um, with trying to broadcast. Does that make sense, you know? So I was doing the video so you guys can see the condition of the sets. That way you can come there and that's why I was doing timestamps. You can just go timestamps to the set that you want, see what the condition, I don't know, maybe hear me talk and chat too much. And then you'd be able to see what it looks like. So 
that was why that is why I was doing it. So now that you guys can see it, you can see it ahead of time of what will be available and what won't be available. Plus it'll give you a chance to talk to me and chat and just hang out if you guys are just bored. Um, yeah. And then I think that's it. Okay. Friday the 13th, 13, just up as Elvira. <laughs> Wait, did I read that right? Elvira. Yeah. Friday. Okay. So I think Friday the 13th sounds like what you guys want to be doing. Okay. So this will be up for grabs. Lulu and her speedboat. This is okay. This is actually kind of cute. You don't, you know, you don't really pay attention to the sets. Oh yeah. it's the right ring base. Okay. You don't really pay attention to the sets when you don't have them or when you do have them and it's not something that's like particularly your favorite, but when you start looking at them, like, doesn't that just look super like beachy in the background? And that's so pretty. I just, I don't think I realized that before. Okay. So there's that. That's really pretty. And let's see last one for the, the ring case. Let's see, so we have the piano, and I saw the parrot. I know I saw the parrot. Here's the parrot. Uh, so it's missing Polly, and it's missing the gold vase with the flowers, or the flowers, you know, the bouquet. But that'll be up for grabs, and it's the correct ring base. So that'll be up for grabs. The gold logo looks pretty nice too. So there's that. Okay, so yeah, there's like a bunch of I was putting all the dolls in, right? So there's a bunch of extra dolls in here. All right, let's see. Let's do this one. And I'll do the, the other one. Okay, oh, this is all messed up. Oh, let's check the stamp pad. <gasps> Dude, okay, you guys, I was right. I was right. This is like not a not played with set. It still has the cover on it. That is really nice. And it's a purple one. The gold though, the gold itself though, is looks like it's kind of coming off. So I will have to, uh, now I'm kind of curious, should I exchange this out for my set? Cause I wanted a purple one. I wanted the purple desk. I think I have a yellow one. I don't know. That's really nice though. Okay. Um, so we have, let's see, there's Matt, there's Tina, there's Polly, there's Midge. Do we have, yeah, we have Miss Kelly. Okay. So this set is complete. So there will be a birthday, birthday stamp, or what am I saying? A school stamp and set. Let me put all these together. Okay, I'm gonna have to see if I can upgrade mine. So, oh, it looks like the ink did leak a little bit. So I'm gonna have to clean these. But there is still the casing over that. That's actually really cool. Okay, let me see. All right, let's get on to the next box because I feel like I'm just like dawdling here, looking at all this stuff. Oh wait, hold on, I have one more though. Man, that is really nice. The inside is very clean. Okay, so that's kind of cool. See, there's a panda in here, but no pretty panda set. So I wonder what happened. Don't you guys, oh no. Oh, the knob broke off, babe. On what? On the pull-out playhouse. Oh no, because when we, when we blew it? It like literally, it didn't even like come off. Like, you know how you, if you guys have seen this before, like they usually just pop off because of the glue, but this literally broke off. So I will probably throw this in, um, in the damage sets. So, oh, it sounds like there's something in here. Yeah, the whole knob is completely off. So that sucks. Okay, oh, there's Tom from Stolen Baby. How cute, okay, and I hear, I hear more. What's, is it in here? Oh man, this is really, oh, that sucks. This is a really nice set. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, like usually on the pullout playhouse, the paint cracks, I think it has to do with the way that they set it up with their painting and everything. Um, just the housing parts, but this is really nice paint. Can you guys see that? Like, I don't know. What babe? I, I can probably find a way to fix it. Well, I mean, you can obviously glue it, but I wouldn't want to do it unless it's my own set. Okay, that sounds like there's something in here. Hold on. All right, guys, hold on. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh, yeah, the drawer. Oh, wait, no, wait, because I don't know how to get the drawer out. Oh, my gosh, you guys, this is going to bug me. What? Okay, what do you think is in here? <laughs> drive me nuts is there a way to get the back the back the bottom piece off without breaking anything no, it's really 
Okay, so how am I supposed to get this? You want to try to get it out? Okay. I feel like I can hear it. I want to know what's in here. Oh my gosh, this is what you guys dream of, right? This is what you want to see. You want to know if um, there's anything hidden and stuff. What's in here? All right, comment down below what do you think is in here from all the sets that you've seen. What is in here? <laughs> okay, you're gonna try. All right. Well, there's that. This okay. Is really nice. I know. It sucks that the thing broke. Man, that sucks. Like I wish it wasn't broken. You know. Okay, wait. Let me see. I'm gonna see if there's. So okay. So there will be a little pet cart complete. Let's see. That was the pull-out playhouse. Yep. So that is complete, but it's broken sadly. And then these are all the extra spare dolls. I felt cheated. It immediately came out. Oh, was that it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. All right. I forgot. Is this Ben? This is Ben from the stroller, strolling thing. Okay. But all these extra dolls. Awesome, 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 awesome. Man. See, okay. When you get a lot and you're like wondering what happened to the rest of the Polly Pockets, where did they go? Like, okay, Pretty Pandas was obviously in here. Uh, they had the merry-go-round was obviously in here. This is probably like the townhouse. Uh, the tree house. Here's the other Pretty Panda. Um, they have bubble, bubble, um, bubbly, bubbly fun, bubbly fun, something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, and they had the teeter-totter pals in here. Here's Tina. Oh, this is from Tina, like from a ring, another ring. Oh, here's Midge from the bumper ring. So there's that. Oh, there's two Midges from the bumper ring. So there's that. Yeah, so it just kind of makes you wonder what happened to those other sets. All right, let's move on, you guys. An arm. <laughs> all right, guys, let's see what is in here. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can move all this. Let's try to get through this pretty quickly. Oh, so I can get on with, my, with the trivia and then go help my daughter. All right, are you ready to see what's in here? <laughs> This is a pretty big one. I hate cutting with the with the razor blade. Oof. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm always afraid I'm gonna like slice my finger open. And I think it's because, have you guys, I don't know, when I was young, I actually did slice my finger open and I can still feel that like the memory of the hotness i don't know if you ever sliced a finger you can it gets hot and then the blood starts coming and then it starts stinging and i can still have i still have that memory in my head okay let's see Ooh, ooh, you guys okay there is so much newspaper oh okay let's see what's happening i'm just gonna throw it down here let's see what happens Ooh, can you guys see that i don't know can you see what's on what's going down here Okay, ooh, the maps. Okay, let's see how good these maps are. So there are two maps. You can see that. These are pretty, okay, they aren't mint, but they are pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. There's a lot of dings, so they definitely got played with. The seller was a sweetheart. She, um, it's a girl, because I actually did talk to her, and we actually started talking back and forth, and she tried to have all her sets complete, but this is from her childhood. I love hearing the history of where the Polly Pockets come from. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> she did exactly what I asked of her, except not exactly. I asked her to make sure to put the figures in plastic Ziploc baggies, just like this, just like all of them, but she Ziploc bagged the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyways so um yeah so she this is hers and her sister's childhood sets i think she said and it was just time to move on and pass them along she said she doesn't remember where um if she finds some more in storage because she thought she had all the pieces she'll let me know and then she'll send them my way which i was like that is such a sweetheart like i i don't know sellers who do that are just so sweet all right so this is a lot of polyville polyville so are any of you guys correct from the other from the, the post, or have you guessed some of the sets that are in here? Let me see, so at least we have a nice one. Let's see the condition of this. So obviously all the dolls are here. How's the faces? Okay, so Pixie's kind of, her face is kind of coming, coming undone, but I can obviously switch that out if you guys wanted to for a better one. Yeah, because Pixie, this one has a better face. All right, let's see. Oh, 
and then this one see okay see this is what i'm talking about this is usually what happens because the glue that they used was kind of like um you know after 30 years it kind of comes undone so all you got to do is just re-glue it but yeah oh I did that. Is there... okay this is pretty, pretty empty. let's see the condition go logo is there you guys can see that let's look at the paint <gasps> one looks nice too. Oh my goodness. I might have to switch out. <laughs> okay, I am a collector at heart first, you guys. You do know that, right? I do have my own collection. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, sorry guys. I'm like, I do have my own collection. I just have it stored away in boxes because I don't have any place to display it in this home. Um, we're at limited spacing, but man, that is really nice. Okay, this might be up for grabs if my set is okay. This is really nice though. Like, super nice. Just super nice. No cracking. You guys can see that. No cracking at all. So, oh, I love seeing history like that. People just don't know why it cracked, you know? Okay, so let's see. I know somebody said a complete Starlight Castle. So... Whoever said it's complete Starlight Castle, you are correct because this is complete. And there is a swan. Is that the, <gasps> no, 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 no. Nope, you're wrong. That is not the swan. This is the swan for the um, fa fairy fantasy. No, fairy wishing world, fairy wishing world. How do you guys know it is? The bottom's not painted white. So I want a non-went one non-mint one for my wall. Ooh, of Pull Out Playhouse, Jennifer? Let me know which one. <laughs> so, yeah, oh my gosh, okay, is this, yeah, this is it. So that means this one is complete, and that one is not complete. <gasps> or oh, it is complete. Oh, okay, the do the swans are just swapped. Okay, she's right then. Never mind, somebody, she's still right. <laughs> see, okay, let's see how the faces are. Faces are pretty good. Love it, love it. And then, yeah, this is nice. Just a little bit dirty on the inside. Oh, there's a little bit of scuffing right here. A little bit of scuffing on that part right there. So other than that, paint looks good. I'll have to see, I'll have to have David figure out if the lights work on these. But okay, that is there. Yay, 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 yay. So the swan though is here. All right, awesome. So there is a complete fairy wishing world or fairy fountain fairy what am I saying nope wishing world <laughs> okay and Polly does have her wings they need to be a little bit revamped but they are there so that's the cool thing about this um if you have a doll that has these kind of wings you definitely want to save it don't try to destroy it and then what you want to do to revamp it is you want to get like a crystal I got to do this I just haven't had time to do it but you want to find like a crystal piece of fabric crystal piece. I don't know how to say it. Um, clear, you know, and then you want to carefully remove the bow and then you want to carefully take the wings off and then you want to paste the wings on top of that cl clear fabric crystal. I don't know. I will have to show you guys, but that's what you would want to do. So, but they're, they're there. So that's a good thing. So if you want to restore it and her face is there. So this is a pretty good set. And let's see, let's look at the gold logo. Gold logo is pretty nice. Um, the circling though is kind of coming off. There's that. Let's see what's in here. This is hilarious. All these bags. <laughs> okay. Oh, yay. Oh, this is pretty. All right. So did you guys know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Um, let's do a trivia right now. Who can tell me the name of this pony? There is a name for her. I don't know if it's on OPP, but there is a name for this pony. And I actually really, really love this name that they chose for her. It kind of suits her really, really well. So comment down below your guesses and the first one to get it right will get $5 off towards their Tiny World Bank Bucks. And then Polly's in here as well. I love this Polly. This is one of my favorite Polly's. I had this set growing up and I played with her all the time, mostly because she's like my two favorite colors, which is like the bluish teal. Uh, it's a little bit more blue than teal, but blue. And then she has the purple cute little bonnet. Ooh, Crystal, you got it. Hey, babe, I need a piece of paper. Oh, oh okay, I can use my, oh yeah, I can, I can use my phone. I forgot, 
I can use my phone. All right, let me write your name down, Crystal. Congratulations, Crystal. Her name is Goldie. Now, how did you know? How did you know that her name is Goldie? Let's see, I'm gonna, let me type this. Tiny World Bank Bucks. Okay. And Crystal. Um, let me see. You got five dollars. Awesome, awesome girl. Okay, so this one is not complete. It's missing the comb and it's missing the cute little white kitty. I forgot the white kitty's name. Is it Snowflake? Snowflake is in the other one, I think. Okay, but this one set is pretty nice. The gold logo is pretty nice on there too, as well. Let's see what's in here. Schoolhouse. Okay, stickers kind of coming off in the front right there on the armor. I was an OPP earlier today looking at the different set pet and I had, oh, did she update it? Did she update it? Oh my gosh, I wanna see. When did she update it? Cause it wasn't there. It wasn't there when I looked. Now I gotta look. Okay, 1995, right? Palomino Pony. No, it's not on here. No, it's not. So where were you looking? Oh, 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 got it, got it. So she has it there. She should update it on that part. Doll identification animals, horses, smart, smart. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so let me see who's in here. Okay, so this will be not complete because it's missing the basketball hoop, but I will have all four dolls because I have an extra Kim somewhere in my plethora of dolls. <laughs> Pet shop. I love, you know, I actually like the little animals in that one. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to check to see if the lights work on all of these. So that's awesome. All right, let's see. Do you guys see we have a Mermaid Kingdom? Um, I think I will have a complete Mermaid Kingdom because I have another set that has all the dolls. So there will be a complete one. I'm debating, though, which one to do. Because I thought I had another one coming in. Because this one has, um, it's been pushed in. The sticker's been pushed in, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I wanted to know which one I should do, if I should do. Because the lot from the UK is going to have this book, but there's slight sun damage right here at the tip of this ship. The rest of the playset looked okay on the other one. So we'll have to see when it comes comes to you. But the gold logo on that is pretty nice. It just is a bummer that the sticker is like that. Man, must have been a kid who just like punched it in with like a pin. Okay, but there is Mermaid Polly. She kind of has her face and so does Mermaid. Is this Susie or Pearl? I forget if it's Susie or Pearl. But I do have one with the white seashell and everything. And then you're going to get, um, there's going to be Ripple and Coral, the seahorses. There's Salty the Dolphin and then Myrtle the Turtle. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's see. We have a complete 1994 Grandma's Cottage. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Oh, yeah. And there's Grandma Rose. There's Polly. So this is pretty clean, complete. So that'll be up for grabs. And if you guys can see in the oven, the tart tray is there. That cute. That is so cute. Okay. Love it. Oh, there it is. I love this piece so much. I like, I love the food tray. I love the little tart tray. Um, I feel like, is there anything else that they hold? There's other stuff that they hold, right? Or is it just those two pieces? I can't remember right now. Okay. Uh, there is a complete 1994 nursery school with the Wendy house. You can see all the dolls are in there. Okay. We're just going to kind of zoom through this so we can get to the rest of the stuff really quickly. Okay, uh, near complete. I have the dresses for this one. Okay, I was just checking to see if it had a uh, bridal salon. So I have the dresses for this one. This is, yeah, this is it. There was the tiara. So there will be a near complete dress bridal, blah, 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 bridal shop with all the dresses or the skirts. 
Uh, Polly, Tori, and Becky are there, and then it will have the tiara. So only thing that is gonna be missing is the flower garland. So there's that, let's see. Wedding chapel, there'll be a wedding chapel. I feel like nobody really cares about the wedding chapel. What do you guys think? Um, I feel like this is my most, this one and the star light castle. These are the two that come in the most. I feel like they have an overabundance because so many people bought them back in the 90s. Um, but nobody wants them now or there's just an abundance because I get so many of these dolls. I get so many of the, these dolls and then so many of these sets. So I like, I have like backup upon backup of the sets. I feel like, so there's that. What's another set of, that you guys think that like pops up a lot over here in the U S or if you're in the UK, what is another set that you guys get a lot of? Okay. And here's Shetland pony stables. So pretty nice. Gold logo is missing a little bit on the bottom. And there is Polly and then, oh, I forgot this one's name. This one had a cute name. Is this one on, is that on OPP too? I want to know if that's on OPP too. Yeah, it is. All right. First one to say the name for this horse will get $5 off. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. So I guess you can go go peek at what you call it. <laughs> go peek at um, OPP. All right, awesome. And the Windy House is in this one as well. Go logo. It's kind of scratchy. Let's Sorry, I'm trying to exit out of. Okay, there we go. This. <laughs> Hey, if you're the only one talking to me, Crystal, I mean, if it was just me and you, you could totally get $100 off. I'm giving away $100 tonight, no matter what. So if it's just me and you, you can definitely get some money towards a set that you want, which is fine by me. <laughs> um, yes, it is Pimpin. Pippin. I, I shouldn't say Pimpin. Pippin. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let me just do a bracket for you, another five. Awesome, girl. Congrats, love. Okay, so there's that. Um, do I have any of my original people who were following my channel on right now? If you guys are on, let me know in the comments down below who was, and I couldn't find it at all. <laughs> it's okay, Milka, try next time. Okay, let me know in the comments down below. Another trivia question. This is gonna be for 10 bucks. Um. What was I gonna ask? Hold on, I just lost my train of thought right there. Um, oh yeah, who is Stalker Polly? Who is Stalker Polly? If you guys are following me from then, comment down below, who is Stalker Polly? So, Ski Lodge, missing the pine tree, of course. It's always missing. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Okay, Cozy Cottage, 1993, let's see. Missing midge, but I do have a midge. So this will be a complete midge, a complete cozy cottage. Um, that'll be complete cozy cottage. I feel like I need to, my life is getting disorganized over here. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. So the trivia question was, who is Stalker Polly? Anybody knows? Comment down below. Um, I'm gonna see if I can post this video, not um, after I'm done with the live. And then if I am and nobody has guessed it, you guys are more than welcome to comment and tell me who Stalker Polly is and win $10. Okay, so here is a jeweled palace. Missing Chatter the Monkey. I know it says Coco on um, OPP, but originally the name was Chatter. So there's that. The jewel, she doesn't stand up very well. Kind of. Let's see if I can get her. Yeah, she's kind of she's wobbly but the jewel is there. So there's that, that'll be up for grabs. Uh, we have a jeweled ice kingdom with Snowy the bear. So that'll be up for grabs. That's why we were $10. I can't remember at all. <laughs> I'm telling you who's here. I know there's a couple of you who were here since the beginning. Um, I'm sorry, I froze. <laughs> it's okay, Jennifer, no worries. Okay, so then we have sadly a drive-through with the door, really, really nice. Um, common sticker, but no balloons. So that's Polly, Waitress Jillian. All right, let's see. I will do another 
$10 question. What would be another $10 question? Um, oh, how about one of my favorite stories that I like to say? Uh, no, sorry, Ashley, not Kelly. Uh, one of my other stories that I like to talk about is what, and that was also a question in my group. What did I think the cozy kitty Polly was holding when I was little? Because I had this set. This was like one of my childhood sets. So I used to think that she was holding something. <laughs> yes, Milka, you got it. It, I used to think that she was carrying a picnic basket. I did not know why. Like, when I had her this set in my head, like, I was, like, I don't know, I was, like, nine, seven. Who, who, who knows how old I was? But I would play with it all the time, and I was always, like, why is she carrying a picnic basket? This makes no sense. Is she going to have the picnic down below? Like, I guess it works, but I thought it was a picnic basket. And then come to find out after years of collecting you know, or years later of collecting, it's a freaking ball of yarn. And I was like, that is a huge ball of yarn. <sighs> so yay, Milka. Okay, Milka, 10 bucks, love. Awesome. Okay, let me see. So there's, okay, here's this. Okay, you know what is another set that I freaking have so many of and complete that I'm just like, nobody wants these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna start giving them away. Um. Summer house. So if you guys ever want to practice on painting or doing something, you know, like fun, do it on a summer house. There's so many of these out in the wild. I'm just like, nobody, and nobody wants them. Nobody cares about them. <laughs> Sadly, it's, it is very simple though. It's very simple, but you know, it is nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> what is that? That is hilarious. Do you see that? How? Did she get stuck? Okay, I'm scared to take her out. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I saw the orange in the corner of my eye. I was like, this isn't the orange variant. Did you guys know there's a variant to this set? Um, thankfully from Lena Molly, she messaged me and I was like, oh, I don't know. Oh wait, this is Midge. Is this Midge from the Funtime Clock? That's Midge, right? She kind of has um, her arms a little bit bent, but I think that's Midge from the Funtime Clock. But there's no fun time clock in here. Man, that means she had a fun time clock. Oh, I hope she finds those those pieces. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, her arms are a little bit bent. But yeah, did you guys know? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, this set comes in two different variants. And I'm going to say it's a variant set because they specifically made it orange for the rug. Um, I think the there's another orange. Like down here, it's orange. Um, instead of it being this pink color. It's orange. And that is actually on the, I don't like to confirm things until I see it either in packaging or on the package itself. So like for Ski Lodge, if you look at the packaging for Ski Lodge, they have the darker blue variant portrayed. So you have a lighter blue variant and then you have the darker blue variant. And then same thing with this one, you have the orange variant and then the pink variant. So there is a variant for this one. So, okay, there's that. Um, Let's see, we should do another trivia. How many of you guys know David? What is David's, one of David's favorite? Okay, wait. There's three that I always say, right, babe? We're talking about flowers and sets. <laughs> wait, did you say sets? Sets. Okay. Um, there's three. <laughs> that did not sound like what, what I thought he said. Okay, I said three, right? There's three of them? Yeah, okay, if you can guess all three, I will give you 15. If you can guess one, I will give you five. So, let me know, okay? Go off in the comments. <laughs> um, so there is gonna be a complete pizzeria, and their faces look pretty good. Yeah, their faces look pretty good. Ashley, you are right, that is one of his favorites. So you'll get first one, you will get that one. Uh, no, Jennifer, that is not one of his favorites. Magical uh, Mansion is not one of his favorites. Okay, so there's this. 
We have these. Okay. Oh, I was excited. Okay, this was the one doll that I need, I don't have yet that I get to keep. Um, this is also for, is this for Western Pony? So this will be up for grabs because I have all the hair for my dolls. So this will be up for grabs if anybody is missing a hair piece. Um, but this is the doll that I was excited. Uh, hi, Becky. No, not, um, not Clubhouse. But it does light up. They, all the sets that he chose does light up. Okay. Um, one, two. No, actually the move, Magical Move in Polyville doesn't. So the other two do light up and they are, I will give another hint, they are compacts. I don't have this doll yet and I'm super excited to get her in. Um, this is Princess Mia, technically, quote unquote, um, in the pink variant for the Sky Princess ring. Jennifer, correct. Yay, love, you got $5 off. Jennifer is correct for one of the sets. He loves the Fairy Light Wonderland um, so much that when I got another mint set in, he made me save it so I would have it for a Shira. <laughs> and we didn't even have a daughter yet, you guys. So that's how much he liked the set. <laughs> okay, so there's Bess. I wonder if there's anything inside. No, nothing inside. Nope. Okay. So anything in here? Nope. All right. So there's Best the Horse. So I will have Circus Wagon with no Polly and no um, Patch the Collie. I feel like those pieces are kind of hard to come by. Patch and Polly for those ones. Um, Stable on the go. And there's a bunch of little figures here. Extra figures there. So that's awesome. Uh, does anybody collect the little pamphlets? This one's in a little bit of tight, tattered order, but this will also be up for grabs if you guys are interested in a little pamphlet. Um, yeah, that's so cute. I love looking at all the little houses. This is definitely like my childhood right here. This is how they advertise for you guys, you know? This is how they got all the little kids to be like, oh, I want this, mom, I want this, dad. And then the parents would be like, oh my gosh, now I have to go to the store and buy these things. <laughs> so that'll be up for grabs. I'm gonna put that back in there to keep it safe. Um, ooh, wait. Ashley, you are right. Starbright dinner party is the other one that he loves. Congratulations. Okay, you got five bucks off. Uh, let's see, 20, 30, 35. Okay, I need to do what? How many more questions did I say? Congratulations, you guys. Those are the three of his favorites. The Magical Move in Polyville, Starbright Dinner Party, and the Fairy Light Wonderland. He likes them because of the mechanisms. Um, Let's see, what is, oh, this is nice. Okay, so there's gonna be a beach party. Gold logo is kind of missing a little bit on there. Let me see, I'm gonna take the tape off. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to clean this lot. This one's a little bit more dirtier than last lot. So there's that. Looks pretty clean though. That looks pretty clean. The outside of the compact though definitely needs to be cleaned. Do you want to ask a question, babe? I don't, I don't know what else to ask right now. Oops, and now the baby just woke up. Okay, so here's Trigger and here's Polly and Alexia. So it is missing a Tawny and the gold trophy. And I'm pretty sure the, the sound will work, but this will be up for grabs. Silver gold or silver letter, silver lettering looks pretty good. The whole emblem and everything. That looks pretty nice. And you don't belong in here. You belong in the other set. You belong in Polyville. Let me see. Okay, so there will be a magical move in Polyville. Uh, near complete, because I don't see, I only see seven pieces of clothing. I don't see the other orange one. So this is near complete. It has all the flags and all the dolls, and then seven pieces of clothing. So I am getting a few more Polyville sets in the next lot, so I might be able to have a complete one. And this looks really clean, you guys. Who likes this set? This set is really, really pretty. One of David's favorite sets, just because of the mechanism and everything. Let's see, I always do this. It's stuck. So it's like a little bit. It's gonna need to be um, maneuvered a little bit, but this is a very clean set. It has the umbrella, everything's there. 
yeah, it's just missing one of the clothing pieces, which is a bummer because it makes you wonder what happened to it. But super clean, very, very nice. You guys see it that way? Very, very nice. You love the Magneta set? Did you get yours yet? Because you got it from me, right? Did yours? Does yours? You got it from me, I think, right? Did it come in yet? Right, Mocha? <laughs> I think so. I think it was there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I, I sent it out already. All right, so we have a tree house. That'll be a complete tree house. So that'll be that. Oh my goodness, you guys. There's a complete bay window. Let's see if they have all their faces. Yes, they have all their faces. Super, super with the palm tree. This is actually one of my favorites. I don't know why. Maybe because it's purple. And I love purple. But super, super pretty. Wanted to get one. Yes, I did. I got it from you. Okay, awesome. And then I've always wanted to get one. Well, Becky, I'm going to have one up for sale next next auction. Um, we will have some fun there. Okay, here is the magical magical mansion. Um, there will be, it will not be complete. It's going to miss, I was going to do the flag separately so somebody can get the flags. I'm debating, should I do the flag separately from the set or should I do it with the set? What would be better? Like what is the, um, the want factor, I guess? Like do people want it? Because it's not going to be complete. There's pink and purple flags only. Let me see what the set looks like itself. This actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, this looks really nice. There's not a lot of, let me just get a little dust off. Yeah, there's, it looks really nice. I'm pretty sure the lights work, but it's a pretty clean set. Grandma, oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it does. It kind of does, the variation set. Maybe that's why they changed it. Because it was too close to the, these two are too close together. Like if the variation was here. Yeah, I could totally see that happening. Okay, so anyway, so what would you guys think? Sell it with the flags or without? So it'll be with all four dolls. It'll be with Flash the Pony, the car, and the magenta carriage. And then debating to sell the, the flags separately because I know people are specifically looking for the flags. Um, I don't know if that's like the higher desire though. Or would they rather just purchase a magical mansion with the flags? Okay, so there's that. Yeah. Well, one of the flags is kind of bent, so I don't know. All right, so here we go. We have a clock and we have another wreath. Oh my gosh, this is like the whole desk is getting really filled up. Okay, and then there's going to be a, I do have, um, what is his name? Nibbles, Nibbles a Squirrel. I do have Nibbles a Squirrel in my extra dolls, so this will be a complete set. Ooh, and there goes Polly. Oh, and there she, she went down the desk. Okay, anyways, um, gold is missing on this side. So I would say separate with, okay, that's 50-50 right now. <laughs> um, okay, and then there will be a complete Cinderella castle. And this is actually a really nice castle. Yeah, because it doesn't look dirty. Usually, like, you can tell immediately off the bat if it's a nice set is by looking at the ground right here. Usually, the ground is scuffed or there's, like, a lot of dust or something. If the ground looks nice, then the rest of the castle is most likely nice. I don't know why that works like that, but it just does. Um, that's at least what I noticed. Let me see the inside. Yeah, the inside looks nice. Just a little bit of, a little bit of dog hair or something there or whatever. Uh, let's see. All the little pieces are here. Yep, the little. And um, let's move this backwards. Yeah, it's just, okay, this is a little bit dusty up here, but the rest of it, even this, the, are these called spindles? Are the spirals things, whatever, those are really nice. They're not crooked or anything, so super nice. The trees in the back are very nice right here. These are usually sometimes um, slanted, but it looks overall pretty good. Let's see if there's anything in the drawer. Nothing in the drawer. And this drawer does come out, so nope, nothing in there. Okay, but it has all the figures and the carriage. So that'll be up for grabs. So if you guys are missing that. I would say the flags wouldn't matter to me as I play with these with my daughter. Okay. Oh, and Lady Tremaine is in there. Okay. So here's the, oh, this is a really nice carriage. This is sparkly. Very clear. Okay. So 
there's that and then all the figures are here all right guys so that is the lot that is everything am i missing anything nope that's everything that was a lot okay are you guys ready for some trivia questions we're gonna do about let's see 35 40 40 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 so i have about 13 questions left uh for trivia okay we're just gonna do some random trivia about poly pockets and about life in general um let's see what was the first disney what was the first disney set that i got i think that's exactly that was my entry into the groups I don't know. Do you guys remember? That'll be ten dollars. I'm gonna do a ten dollar um, trivia question. That is a ten dollar trivia question. What was the first? Um, the first which we call? Yeah. What was the first one? First Disney set. And that'll be ten bucks. Let's see. Um, I almost ate a Polly Pocket. What food did I think it was? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Did we tell people though? I think we did. Uh, nope. I don't see it yet. Aladdin is nope. Cinderella, nope. Little Mermaid, nope. Beauty and the Beast, nope. I went in the groups and I think I did a video. I did a, I don't know if I was live. It was my first video and that's when I kind of first entered into the groups and was like, hey, I'm here. Uh, Milka is getting closer. You are getting closer. Closer, closer, closer. But there is a specific set and it is my friend, Mita's fault. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to make room here so I can. Ashley, which one? Which one? Because there's two sets, technically. Two sets. Whoever said whoever says it first, though. I mean, uh, I'm I'm trying to be a, a spare. <laughs> I'm trying to be sparing about it. Yes, Milka, you are right. Space. Minnie Mouse. So it was the Minnie Mouse space case. That was my very first set. So congratulations, Milka. You got 10 bucks off. A uh, story behind that was I saw it like it was up. I wasn't trying to collect Disney. I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to bite the bullet. I'm only strictly collecting Polly Pockets. And then um, Milka's like, hey, this is in your area. If you don't want it, I'll take it. She's like, but you should get it because it's a really good deal. It was like 60 bucks. And I was like, oh, I was like, let me see how far away it is because it's not exactly, it wasn't exactly in the area that we're going to go to in LA. So we went and we picked it up and I had David pick it up. And as soon as David brought it back in, I looked at it and I fell in love and I was like, oh my God, I hope Milka's not, or not Milka, I hope Mita's not going to get mad at me because I think I really want this set and it's really pretty. So I ended up keeping it and then I was like on a forever hunt trying to find her one that was like in good condition um, and cheap. <laughs> But that was my first one and it was super pretty and it started my whole plethora of Disney collection and I was like, man, I wasn't trying to bite the bullet, but I did. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty, guys. If you guys don't have it, you should definitely pick one up. It is super, super pretty. Super pretty. I don't know. I don't like Disney, but I like this one too. Yeah, I you. Okay. Milka, you need to get it because it's, I think what it is, is like, I also like the little astronaut hats on uh, Minnie and Daisy. It's just so cute. And the little aliens, just really cute. The color combination, it just screams, um, actually kind of screams Toy Story. Like the colors, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, I should probably pull it up on, on site, right? Let me just show you. For those of you who don't know what the set looks like, um, 1996, is it 96? I think it was 96, right? Yeah, 96. It just kind of is giving me, let me see, here's the, so that's what it is. And it kind of, oh, nope, it just, come on, don't do that. There you go. So it's giving me Toy Story vibes. Just so, so pretty, so cute. I love it. I would, yeah, I would get it in a heartbeat again after finding out that I wanted it. So now I have, I think my Disney collection is almost near complete, which by the way, you guys, okay, I just got a rare item in the mail. It's Disney. Uh, five bucks trivia question. What do you think the item is? It is Disney. It is a little bit on the rarer side. It's not complete. So I spent around 200 euros, 200 euros. And it just came in the mail. And she wrote a cute little letter 
a cute little note. I have it here on my desk with my other stuff because I need to clean it. But what set do you think it is? Oops, and I need to see your guys' comments because... And, oh wait, hold on, let me see if that's, okay. No, I need, I do have Donald Duck already, but I don't have the figures, which I'm like, oh, the figures are just like, oh my gosh, no. Okay, it's not Hunchback. Um, I did a, I did a, whatchamacallit, based off of this. Uh, I did an auction based off of this, kind of. Yeah, kind of, right? Yeah, we did an auction, kind of, in the same genre. Let me see. So you have to think though, kind of around 200 euro incomplete though. That is an incomplete price. Okay. So Ashley, you are correct. It is Alice in Wonderland. Let me put that down for you. And I said that was five, right? Okay. I'll show you guys right now. I was super excited to get my hands on it. I think somebody else was in line, but I snagged it first. So super, super cute. Not complete. It did come with Alice. Um, the one thing though that I will say, like I was super excited that she packed it really nicely, but she packed it first time ever seeing this happen. She packed it with cotton pad, cotton. I don't even know. It was like this huge thing of cotton. And so if you can see, there's like little fuzzies. I would recommend if you guys ever ship something, do not use cotton because especially if there's like pieces that are like glittery or um, that have like this, like these little divots of glitter and you know, it's like kind of bumpy, the cotton gets stuck in between there. So I literally need to go back and probably clean it all again. But that was my first time I've ever seeing it. So it is not complete. Like I said, it is missing the white rabbit and the queen. But there's Alice and there's the Mad Hatter and I'm super excited. I waited so long to get my hands on one of these and I love, if you guys don't know already, I love Alice in Wonderland. I'm like a huge, I'm not like a crazy fan, but I love the story and I love the idea of like going down a rabbit, ho rabbit hole and um, entering into a different world. So any like, I love, I just like the, the lore. I like the, I don't know, just everything about it. It's super, super cool. So I was super excited to get this one. There is two variants to this set. If you guys are not aware, there is a white variant and a till variant. And the till variant, it, it looks to me like it's a little bit lighter, like a little bit more on the pastel side, whereas the white one has um, a little bit more vibrant color. So I don't know. Does that make sense? Like, how can I explain that? I, I wish I had both of them. Oh, wait. Can I show you on the phone? Does it show? Does it, does it even have it on here? Yeah, so see between these two. So here's the white one, super dark, and then super like pastel. So there's that. So yay, go Ashley, good job. Was my first auction. <gasps> Did you get one? Did you get one? Okay, okay, Becky, let me get some trivia that you guys might be able to get. Um, Name all four dolls to, what is one of my favorite sets? Oh, okay. Um. I want to say, okay, no, you know what? Name all the sets, all five books. One, two, three, four, five, five books, six actually, right? Cause there's, okay, wait, hold on. Hold on guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, six books. Name all six books. I will do $20, $20 for this one. Uh, you guys can cheat, but Storyland, the story, story books. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Enchanted story books. Name all six books. And you'll get $20 off for that one because that's a lot to type. <laughs> and that'll be 20 bucks for that one. So I will cut that down and I got to hurry up and go to my baby. So let's see. Okay, and that means I need to do six more questions. Four, five, six. <gasps> Milka, good job. Girl, you are raking in the dough here. Okay, good job, that was it. I feel like I'm kind of just doing random trivia. I wasn't really prepared for this because I was just trying to get the live going on. Um, yeah, let me see. What else is another trivia question that you guys can do? I feel like I'm unprepared. Okay, so do you guys know when I do that? Okay, no, I don't know if I want to do that. 
Savannah, hey love. Hey gorgeous, I was trying to figure out some more. I need to do six more trivia questions and I wasn't ready because we were trying to figure out. I was gonna do that right now before I went on the live, but we we're trying to figure out how to get on the live without edit, like retracting and doing a bunch of stuff. So now that we're on, I'm like, I don't know what else I wanna say. Okay. Um, what food did I think Polly was? I don't think we told anybody though. Did we tell you guys a story of when David? Okay, I guess I did tell you guys. Okay, for those of you who were watching, um, we were sending off a Polly Pocket in the mail, um, but I didn't have a baggie yet. David had to get a little baggie and then we we're on our way there and I was feeding David popcorn while we were in the car. And <laughs> we get to the post office station and <laughs> we get there and I, ha I was handing him popcorn, right? So I hand him the doll and the next thing I know, he pops it in his mouth and I scream and I'm like, ah! Like, no, that was the doll. So I think I did, we did do a live. Okay. Um, which doll was that? <laughs> which doll was it? So yeah, it was, yeah, that was hilarious. I, which food, babe, not which doll. Oh, which food? Yeah, so you already said it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a baby. I'll tell you that. Okay. It's a baby. There's your hint. It was a baby. Um, it was for one of the baby sets. So go ahead. You guys can go off in the comments. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a baby. Oh yeah, Crystal. Good job. It was baby Alice. It was baby Alice. So how much do you want to give away for that one? Five? Because I told him what it was, kind of. Uh, I thought it was 20 because that's hard. I told him it was a baby though. Okay, well it's yours, Paul, then. I'll do... I'll do 10. We'll go halfway. Okay. We'll go halfway. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So far, we have Crystal Schultz at $20 off your next purchase. Milka, you have $40 off at your next purchase. Ashley, you got $15 off. And Jennifer, you have $5 off. And I think Elena, Elena I don't think Elena's here, but um, I love who's Tom. Haha. <laughs> I meant Toby. <laughs> hey, there is a Tom, though. I think I just showed him. I just showed him. Okay. Let me see. This is Tom. There's actually several Toms in the sets. Tom and Tessa, if you guys didn't know, is Polly Pocket's cousins. They're her baby cousins, and that's why in the Perfect Playroom, um, she's babysitting them, which is really cute. And then she's also babysits them in the, oh, where is it? Nursery school. This is Tom and Tessa up as well. Let me put them up here so you guys can see. Okay, here's another question for you guys. What is, what song songs, I should say songs, does the Christmas Compact play? There are two songs that it can play. And one of them, David really loves. Okay, this is not working, obviously. Let me see if I can put it up here. I know, I know, I could get some Tiny World Bucks. You could get some Tiny World Bucks. <laughs> so Tom is the one with the blonde hair and Tessa is the one with the red hair. So those are her cousins, if you guys didn't know that. So she's always visiting them and babysitting them and taking care of them. I don't even know who their parents are there, though. They, I haven't read up on that part yet. But let's see. Milka, yes, that is one of them. Rudolph. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And Crystal. I will give you guys both um, five bucks each. Crystal. And Milka, congratulations. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and um, Jingle Bells. Joy to the world. That would actually be really nice if they did play that song. That would be really nice. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry, babe. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Five, ten. I think you need to come over here, though, because um, you're going to have to end the live. Okay, I need to do one more question, you guys. We're going to give away ten more dollars. Um... Let me see. Mm, we gotta make this a good two, one. two, <gasps> or one. I think maybe we should do something that references your first YouTube video or something. But then they could. Well, I did it. It was Stalker Polly, but nobody knew. <coughs> nobody oh. knew which one it was, and that was ten dollars. Do you guys know who it was? Does anybody know who it was? Do you guys want to give a guess? It. There's a certain character. Well, you know what? I don't know. I don't because that's really hard. Mm. That's really hard. How about, do you guys know the name of this puppy? This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite puppies. 
favorite puppies. Technically, he's a husky, but do you guys know his name? And I love his name. His name is so cute. It's not Puddles, Holly is it? From Teeter. Ooh, Jennifer, you are so close. So close. So, 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 so close. Do you know the story? Do you guys want to hear the story? Um, I'm going to give you $5, Jennifer, just for guessing very closely, because I think I know what you're saying, because I think you were in the beginning. But Stalker Polly is this one, in case you guys are wondering. Stalker Polly is <laughs> uh, Mary Ground Pal Polly. And the reason being is if you guys, do you guys know Sharon? Sharon, she's in the group. She's a sweetheart. Um, I love her. She's really, really nice. Kind lady. We call her, we called her at the time being when this is like what, in the very beginning of COVID in 2020, um, she was our dealer because she was always giving us like, she was, she has a bunch of dolls and we were constantly buying dolls from her. She ended up getting this doll randomly in, <laughs> randomly in a picture. And I was like, no, I didn't want that doll. Like, I don't know where that doll's coming from. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I think she took it away. And then I forgot how the story is, but the doll kept popping up. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't, that's, I don't need that doll. And she was just like, we were laughing so much because she kept just popping up in the middle of everywhere. So she's like, I'm gonna freaking send her because if I don't send her, that's gonna be bad juju on my part because she's like saying she wants to go to you. And then she's gonna haunt me if she doesn't go to you. So she sent me the doll, which was so funny. And that's how I think, that's how her name became Stalker Polly. Um, yay, Milka, that is the last question of the night. Okay, Jennifer, you got five. And then Milka, you got another five. His name is Nanook. Isn't that oh, a cute? Oh, I love that Isn't name. Isn't that a cute name, Nanook? Nanook the Husky. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in on this commemorative live unboxing just to figure out how to do YouTube live. And we so, did it. We did it. So we're going to do the next auction, which I'm pretty sure is going to be um, Friday the 13th. We're going to do it Friday the 13th. So do you think we'll split into two because we might depending. Okay. Depending on how long it goes on. Cause you know, like if it's like six hours, seven, eight, I get a little loopy after eight hours of working, um, doing the live. So we might split it into two. So it'll be like Friday the 13th and then Friday or Saturday the 14th. So we'll see what happens, but we're definitely going to do it Friday the 13th because that's what you guys were saying. And then we will, all these will be up for grabs mostly, mostly, I want to say mostly. Um, I will also be doing another unboxing video so you guys can see, and I'm going to do it live because it's the only way that I can get a hold of YouTube right now until, um, until you yeah. fix, until David's going to, do some stuff to my computer so I can try to do and post the videos for you guys. So it'll be just me instead of you talking, unless you guys like talking like this. I don't know. I got to just like see what's going to go on and how I can grow this channel and start doing more stuff with this channel. Oh, I have something well, behind. It's pretty, super fun. Though. Yeah. So I don't know. I just want to do an unboxing with you guys just to interact, see what you guys can see, talk to you guys, give you guys a chance to win some money for the next auction. And then um, I should be getting the lot in on what day was it oh, i'm sorry you guys i have something in my eye right now this is bugging me um let me check when it was supposed to come in Ooh, cinco de mayo okay so it should be here cinco de mayo which is going to be next thursday um so i might do an unboxing on thursday just for fun just to show you guys what is in the box even if there's only like one or two of you watching i'm completely fine with that i just want to be able to get let you guys see what is up for grabs and chat with you for a little bit. And then we will have the auction on the 13th. So yeah, 13th, yeah, we just will. So thank you for joining me on this little excursion to see how the live video works. And I'm glad it was able to work. I don't know, what do you guys think? What's your opinion about the commenting? Is it pretty consistent with you guys? Um, let me know your thoughts. I feel like it was a lot better because I feel like it was definitely on point with you guys commenting. Like yeah. as soon as you comment, it pops up and that's what I like. Um, and it is putting timestamps too, it uh, is? at least on here that I can see. Oh, on the, on and, ours. Yeah. On oh, here. awesome. It says, so it's from the broadcaster then. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Awesome. So I think, yeah, so we will be here. This is where we're going to start doing them because I kind of want to get away from the groups and be able to do it on my own platform, which is here. It is better. Okay. Oh, awesome. Good. Awesome. I like it. I'm just at my summer house, so I have I slow like Wi-Fi. Oh, just, uh, ooh, Jennifer, you sound so fancy. Ooh, <laughs> does does your summer, summer house, house, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, you gotta tell me, what does your summer house look like? Maybe I'll paint one for you to commemorate you. Uh, what does your summer house, does it look like this? Are you by a pool? <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Becky said, night, night, seem fine. Okay, awesome. Yeah, the comments seem so much smoother. Yeah. So, okay, awesome. So, this is where we're going to have it. So, you guys, make sure you're following me, especially if you're on the live chat, because, um, what is it? Because I am under a thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel, there's only like a certain amount of people that are going to be able to view it. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you're already able to automatically view my live videos. So that's why I want to make sure that you guys are subscribed. Um, country home, my grandma's old house. Now you're just making me think like it's like this. Do you have a windmill? <laughs> no lag at all. Okay, awesome. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so we are going to do this from now on. I love this. I love how it's so accurate. Um, we are going to try to do this next time. So I, I can zoom on the fly. I'm curious. Can you zoom? Um, I, maybe actually, I don't think you can, but it's super no, cool. But well, dude. Okay. Oh, you know what? They, you know what? Nineties. Uh, they should have done something with a well. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Wait, 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 wait. You guys aren't going to like the answer. I know for a fact there is a well on the animal wonderland set. Man. Okay. Wait. Jennifer, does your house look anything like this? Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, I know it's on, okay, 1984, and it's right here. Does your house look like this? <laughs> they should have done more wells, oh, though. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So this is the rabbit house, 1984. But you can see right here, there is actually a well. They should have put more wells because that was such a thing in the 90s. Like, I don't know if you guys know, like, I don't know. I feel like that was a 90s thing. You drop your penny down the well. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, we're going to go and close this out. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go and read off to you guys real quick how many, how much. Okay, Crystal, you have 25 with me next auction. Milka, you have 50 with me next auction. Ashley, you have 15 with me. And Jennifer, you guys have 15. Ooh, let's go ahead and also see um, if you guys, if any of you won... Oh, let's check. Let's check. Let's see if any of you won for the, whatchamacallit. Okay. Michelle, you won. We had a complete. So she got a $5 off. Tiffany, no. Uh, Crystal, no, no complete slumber party. Uh, toy shop, not complete. No. Magical mansion, incomplete. Milka, you got one too as well. So Milka, so I said four. Elena, hairdressing, nope. Wild Zoo World, nope. Polly Pocket Bridal Salon, nope. Precious Puppies, nope. That was complete. Splash Slide was no. Fifi's, no. Bridesmaid, no. Uh, Little Mermaid, no. Okay, so it's just going to be you two. So Milka and Michelle. Let me write that down real quick. Milka, you can buy yourself. I think you can buy yourself a set. You have 10, 20, 40, 55, $55. You get a free set next auction, pretty much. <laughs> or put it towards something good. Okay, I'm gonna go right Michelle. Milka. Michelle, let me see. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Green. Okay, awesome. Michelle Green, you got $5 off my next auction. All right, so let's shoot for Friday the 13th. We're gonna do a themed auction. I have a fun game, new Polly Pocket game plan for you guys. Um, we are not doing trivia that night, no. We're just gonna be trying to get through the set. So there's gonna be over 90 plus items to get through. Oh, give me the, um, I can show them that. The books? No. No, top, top, top. Yeah? Yes. Are you serious? Okay, just give me that. And then. So for those of you, I know some of you guys were still, you're a little disappointed that you weren't able to snag, um, excuse me guys, you weren't able to snag a look and find book. So I have two. One is damage and one, this one is mint. This just came in today as well. And this is a mint book, which I'm just like, oh my gosh. Wow. It is super hear like- Hear that crackle. Hear the crease. It's super, super nice. Pages are super crisp. Like even there's like no dings on the corners as well. So there is another mint book. So for those collectors, I will say this is, Mint. Yeah, and if you put your ear up to the pages, you can hear the sound of the printing press that made it. Kind of like the ocean. <laughs> I want to say this. Wait, hold on. Let me double check before I get in trouble. And like there's a ripped page or something or something missing or something. No, this looks really clean, guys. Oh, I just love this. I love, love, love it. Okay. Ooh, you hear that? That is nice. So this will be up for grabs. This one is damaged. I was so... You want to hear the story? You guys want to hear the story for this one? This was just so stupid. I ordered it and then the seller or the people who boxed it up 
um, put it in a super, okay. They put it in a box almost as big as this, okay? With some random little bubble wrap like this and threw it in the box. And they didn't even like, they didn't stuff the box to where it didn't move. So this was literally bouncing back and forth in the box. And I was just like, you guys, you've got to be kidding. And so because of that, the book got dented right here. There's a big crease. And it's so, this was a, this would have been a mint set. I think it also got messed up right here during, I don't know. And it got messed up right here, but it would have been a nice book. It got messed up right there. So if you want just a book for play, or if you want to take the pages out, um, I know some people like to take the pages out and they like to, um, you can like probably put it on your wall or something. Um, I don't know, but it's nice pages, very nice pages. It's just the fact that it's bad. Oh, this one, this page it is kind of, whatchamacallit. So, uh, that, that was just like a face palm moment completely. Oh, I love this page, the fairies. Oh, that's gorgeous. I know, that is so gorgeous, you guys. All right, oh, and these are crossed off. So it is not a mint set. Or not a mint, well, it wasn't mint in the first place, but it wasn't, yeah, so somebody looked for these. Does that mean that they looked for them on here? Well, either way, it's a damaged book. So I'm selling it as a damaged book. So that would be there. Um, I have a couple other annuals coming in. Um, some fun things. Ooh, I should show you guys something real quick. Just a little sneak peek. Um, I'm here for it. <laughs> no two-story white with black trim. Typical country Amish when you home. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, the comments are so much easier. Is it? It's okay. I mean, awesome. It awesome. Awesome. Okay. Up. Can I show you guys? I will show you guys something. Sneak peek for those who get to be here right now with me, which is all, all six of you <laughs> or five of you. Um, I am getting in. Where did it go? I know it's here somewhere. Where'd you go? See that? One of these will be up for grabs. So if you guys, for you serious collectors who want earrings, I will be getting two in and one of them will be up for grabs. So I am super excited about those and they're really pretty. That is the Polly Pocket Twinkly Star earrings. Those are a super rare item. So that'll be up for grabs next auction. I love, love, love them. They're really cute. I actually have a video like, so coming back to YouTube, um, as soon as David gets a laptop, whatever's going on with it, I have five videos that I'm still going to upload. Um, but they're like two years old because <laughs> the last time I've been on YouTube was two years ago. But in one of those videos, I actually got a pair of those earrings and I was wearing them and they're really, really pretty. So, um, but yeah, they're super rare. They're probably one of the rarest earrings. I'm going to think about this. Yeah, they're probably one of the rarest earring sets for Polly Pocket because like you have those ones and you have Lulu, um, I think Twinkling Star earrings or something like that, or, or it's the other one. And then you have the Golden Dreams. Those are probably the next highest one. And then the Beauty Pageant, uh, the the variant Beauty Pageant, not the uh, translucent pink ones, but the really nice colored, uh, I guess they're like pale, not pale, um, pastel color ones. So those ones are pretty rare. So anyways... Oh, Samantha, I'm so sorry, love. So sorry. I know. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's the end of the live. We're going to probably close out. I'm going to see if I can post this live uh, or post this after. So if you wanted to watch, you can totally watch later on. Uh, but it's been... Becky wants to know if there's any rare sets. Ooh, let me see. Let me think. Okay. I know there's a shooting star case that's empty. I know that there is a pattern and picture maker that's empty. Um, I am going to get the Starshine Palace. I'm not sure if that's complete, but it does have the topper. Um, but that's kind of like, it's semi-rare, but I haven't really had that on the channel. So if you're trying to, or on the, on my lives, I haven't had that set. So if you've been trying to buy your sets with me since you've been collecting, that set hasn't popped up. So that's going to be there. Um, what else is going to be there that I know? There is a Grandma's Cottage variant. There is also a Midge's Play School variant. Um, there is going to be the Bridesmaid Pink variant, but let me see what else. I can't remember. Um... Yeah, Samantha, that's going to be for the next set. Samantha, do you say Samantha or Samantha? How do you pronounce it? Um, let me know. And then let me see. Hold on. Let me go to my... Let me just go to my... I forgot that I can use my phone. This is so different. I'm not usually able to use this phone. I'm usually... So we switch. So usually I record with this phone, but we switch with my blue phone. So now I'm recording with that phone. So now I can check on this phone that has all my, all my stuff. Okay, let me see what do I have here coming in. I think that's it. There will be a slumber party. 
Um, we have some Disney sets coming in. Some more Disney sets. Uh, Mermaid, Hunchback, that's sun damaged. Minnie Mouse, sun damaged. Uh, another Cinderella set. So I think that's all the rares. And then there is, let me look at something real quick. Yeah, we're gonna sell some more stickers. Um, I have like two more stickers that I need to get rid of. So those are gonna be it. I'm supposed to have another annual come in, um, a Polly Pocket, like the 1995 annual is supposed to be coming in. Um, there's some jewelry. So I already showed you guys the jewelry. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it guys. So whatever I showed you here, then some of the other stuff from the other lot. So, but that is gonna be the top rare item of next auction, all right? So super excited. All right, so join me. Friday the 13th, which is in May, which is in two weeks, right? Two weeks? Is it in two weeks? Let me check. Awesome auction name to follow. I've got some ideas. Yes. So Friday the 13th in two weeks, we will be going live on YouTube. The comments seem to be a lot better. I don't care. I don't care <laughs> that it's now we're going to be on this, on this platform. I actually really like it. Um, so yeah. So in two weeks, catch me for the next live. It'll probably be starting around since it's Friday. Let's do about six o'clock. Yeah. Like usual. And then if we need to cut the auction into two, we will. Like I said, I have another Polly Pocket fun game planned and that everybody will be able to participate in. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I got to I got to double check the numbers on how many how many I can do. It's a surprise. So, I mean, it's going to be pretty basic though actually. Now that I think about it. Eh, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> but okay, which little mermaid, the oyster or the other one? Um yes, the little clamshell. So that'll be there. Samantha. Okay. Awesome. And then, yeah. All right, guys. Love you so much. Thank you for joining me on the live and unboxing, but we'll see what happens. Catch you in the next one.